Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of XCOM The Ship War. We are on a very hard mission here. Um, we are playing against a medium, uh, a downed medium UFO. And with one move we triggered two cyber discs, a bunch of drones, two seekers, a mutant elite commando, a mutant elite and three other mutants. And a bunch of other stuff that I forgot about. So yeah, all at once and they're coming from different angles. So yeah, it's tough, it's tough. So here are the two cyber discs. We killed the mutant elite last turn. And uh, the mutant elite commando and the mutant elite threw a smoke, at, uh, threw a grenade into the smoke. Thankfully it wasn't uh, one of these ridiculous grenades that that heavy floater threw and that other mission that hit for 11 that was totally insane so we have one uh, scout over here with a risk steady weapon so he gets a 91% chance of taking care of the cyber disc and he does 8 damage without crits that's not enough to kill that one obviously that's also not enough to kill the other one we would need some help to get rid of one cyber disc. And they have also damage reduction, right? Don't forget about that. Uh, so let's see if we can organize some help down there. No. Louise is not fast enough to hide here. Yeah, we have very poor chances of, you know, shooting at the mutons. Although... C4 might be able to move here and flank the other mutant elites and then we throw another smoke in there. Are they on overwatch? No, they are not on overwatch. M maybe B2 has a better chance of doing this. So yeah, look at this. Alright, B2 move in. You have the highest armor of all the ships anyway. So there you go, we flank. I have a crit chance, so maybe someone else should give uh, holo targeting. No? B4 does not give holo targeting. I'm still thinking about uh, helping out with the cyber disc with one of my ships. But because of this uh, formation here, rock formation, we don't see them. Okay, then can, let's concentrate on one enemy with shifts, right? Move here with um, C4. Oh, it's only 40%. That's not, not flanking, okay. The real problem will be to get a, a smoke there. Oh, actually we can't throw that far. That's excellent. Cool. So who is going to give a uh, holo targeting? The real problem is with my scout here is they, they can shoot twice because of hit and run, right? But uh, it won't kill the cyber disc and then the drones come in and repair everything. I feel that. And I don't think, I, I'm not sure, if, are they close enough to flank me? Looks like it. I mean, okay, my scout has 20 mobility. I don't think they have 20 mobility. They might have. But the way how a hit and run works, I could shoot, use up my steady weapon, then move behind this high cover and shoot again. Right? That, that's how it should work. Okay, someone has to give holo targeting here, right? Someone has to. So, B4 moves over here. 
You do not have auto targeting, right? But C2 has. So, C2 moves over here. And the goal is. Oh, I actually get a 52% chance of shooting at this one. Maybe we can get rid of a cyber disc. Wouldn't that be great? How about B4? No, B4 does not see any cyber disc. And C4? Yeah, C4 does see a cyber disc. The same one, actually. Okay. So I want to give the highest chance of hitting to the one that flanks uh, the elite, obviously. So they have the same chance of hitting the cyber disc, these two, right? So, but I get a better chance of hitting with a shot at the elite than you, right? Yeah, a 10% better chance, that, that is. Okay, then shoot at the elite. It is decided then, 40%. Yay, we did hit and holo targeting is applied. Wow, that was a great hit actually. So now we have an 86% chance of taking care of this guy. Come on! Yes! Minus one mutant elite. Perfect. That's all I, I wish wished for. Okay, now I get a 50% chance, 52% chance of shooting at this one. And we can use that extra, extra damage. So, 50-50. No, we missed. But holo targeting is applied. That means anything. Alright. I'm doing it. I'm shooting at the one that, it, uh, that I have 100% chance of hitting. So, I did 8 damage. And now they are at 10. What? Oh, that was not hit and run. <sighs> I hope that uh, Cyberdisc is not close enough to flank my scout. That, or I would really cry if that happens. Oh! Oh, uh, yeah, where do you go? You see mutants, right? No? Oh, you see? Oh, you see? And with light him up, we could actually have two chances of hitting that guy. Problem is, I'm out in the open. I'm, I, I still get cover from the uh, from the smoke, but that is risky stuff. Before, can you get back and give cover? No, you are actually too far away. One tile. So, which one of the mutants are actually seeing you? This one? And this one. Okay, that's too much. That's too many. No, that's too, too way too risky, dude. To attempt this. Way too risky. I would like to make a shot, but that's too risky. Alright, alright. I'm retreating. I'm not risking the life of my soldier here. Alright. So yeah, he sh um, is displayed as being uh, in need of heals, but he just got one damage from the grenade. Mm -hmm. So I think I will just again go on overwatch with her. In case that guy moves. Alright. Overwatch. Now. And Engineer has to throw a smoke once more to save my shifts. This looks good. Smoke out! Smoke out! There you go. Let me see. We 
I am in danger of getting flanked, am I not? By the by the cyber discs. But where can I go? Possibly go to prevent that from happening. I mean, if my uh, uh, medic is not going to get flanked here, but it, and then I will only be in half cover. Huh. It's better than getting flanked by cyber discs, I feel. So. Yeah, I'll take the chances of moving that ha half cover over here. There you go. So, what can the laser Ross, laser heat still do? Not much, I feel. Chances are bad. I could suppress somebody like this one because this one has a shot at my engineer. Do we see them? No. Well, in this case, I think I go on Overwatch. Or, yeah, suppression would actually empty my magazine. I don't like that. I will go on Overwatch. Maybe I catch someone trying to relocate. Okay, a little bit of repair goes on here. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. So what are the cyber discs doing? I hope they cannot flank my scout. Can they? I am flanked. God damn it. Goodbye, scout. Damn. I wasn't aware that hit and run doesn't uh, work that way. So let's hope that... Oh, that goes on overwatch. Okay. Drone runs into an overwatch. I don't know which one. Oh. Of, of B4. Well, at least that doesn't get repaired. That's something. Okay, what are the mutants doing? Yeah, they are getting the shot here. God damn it. I knew it. In comes another grenade. Alright, didn't do anything. Nice. Well done. In comes a shot. They are pretty close here. I'm surprised that they are risking staying where they are and getting flanked next turn. Wow, that's uh, that's a dense smoke cloud. That's pretty good. Pretty good. In comes another grenade. Let's see what that does. Okay, it did a little bit of damage. Whoa, so... Look at this. Oh man. I survived a shot by a cyber disc. Cool. Wow. Wow. That is really annoying here that they really that they got that shot here as I predicted. But hey, what can you do? Let's let's not dwell in the past. I will obviously want to get away from this cyber disc. And I want to trigger that overwatch as well. I think from here I get a shot at the one that is hurt, right? If I move back here. Do this. Overwatch triggers. They miss. Man, I need a heal on, the, on him, definitely. So 70% and... What? I don't even see the other? Um... Because of this high cover, I guess. Well, at least I see the one that I, that we can maybe destroy. Okay. 60%. 60%. Alright. Okay, you shoot first. 70% is reasonable. And if I don't hit, then I give at least a targeting. Ah, so now it's on you. Yes! Oh no, you don't, you do laughable damage, really. 80% now. Because of uh, Executioner, yes. Ah, oh, great! 
Okay, now our, to our mutant situation here. I, I feel like all of them are equally dangerous. Uh, except this one. I think he has high bonus or something. Yeah. Can we do something about that? Is it half or is it high cover? I have to check real quick. It's half cover, so we should see them if we flank them with the with the ship. Okay, good to know. So what we could do is we move over here, we flank them and kill them. As easy as that. Anybody here on Overwatch? Not that I see it. So do it. This guy is really annoying. I have to rescue my humans over there. So my last shot. Let's get rid of them. Yes. Yes. So there are cyber discs coming in. I'm not sure if we are safe here. So. Where would be a good spot to heal, to start healing? I think down here would be a good spot. So we cannot throw a smoke this turn. We can throw a smoke here. I think that's a good idea, actually. Okay. Smoke's out. out. And then we move over here. There now. And the medic. Give me the medic. Uh, moves here. Aye, aye, commander. To the high covers, and I can heal. Let's do it. Unfortunately, it's still only Easy three asshole, because sir. we haven't uh, gotten the improved medkit project. Oh, I can, I can maybe do it again if I wanted to. Going on Overwatch doesn't seem like something I want to do since uh, this is in the way Five. no I will just reload then I guess good to go that's all the heal you're getting I've decided uh, can we maybe, maybe, maybe shoot at the one with the two health? Otherwise, it gets the, uh, repaired or something. But I also feel like uh, feel pretty nice and cozy here inside the smoke. I don't know. Okay, no, I'm going to play it aggressively here. So, Lazeros moves over there. Flanks this guy, and this guy as well, but that doesn't concern me. Lazero heats! Does 7 damage. Oh my goodness, that's not enough. Then C4 moves over there, seals the deal, deal hopefully. Running out of ammunition, that is a little bit uh, disconcerting. So we move over here with our last shift, kill, hopefully kill this one. Uh, this one has a pulse, uh, super pulse, or that should work. Oh yeah, crit for 18. Okay, they repair a little bit. They also repair a little bit. We are outside of the smoke, so they, uh, these two mutants will hit. But they first have to run, right? The thing is, what are these uh, cyber discs going to do? They will get very close, so that smoke is going to help a lot. Oh, a grenade. No, that will kill... 
I was killed! I get not even the chance to revive him! God, I hate Sire Discs! There's a vengeance. Hey, they're running. Yeah, bye bye. Man, that was my best man! That guy went into the armor. Okay. I need my shifts. I need my shifts to rescue my humans. There's no way around it. So who has still ammunition? To C2 has. So C2. You move over here. Although 10 damage. I'm not sure if you can do that or not. There you go. 10 damage to you. I should have moved my scout far, far away instead of shooting at them. Uh, that grenade, man. Okay, is there another ship that has ammunition? No, all, all other three ships lack ammunition. So, okay, we will move over here with uh, later Rohits. We did not trigger the Overwatch, which is unfortunate. Maybe C4 does. Oh, we see a guy in Overwatch. Unfortunately, we don't have ammunition. So, last ship also tries to go over there and help. Also has line of sight. Oh, I done this one this time. Okay. Man, that guy in Overwatch is really a problem, I feel. So the way light uh, light him up works. Can I move after I shoot? Standard shots no longer end the turn if taken at the first action. Yeah, I, I technically can. Where would I go? I could move over here and hopefully and hope that they are not going to flank us here. So that guy needs to go. Come on, 70%. That's a good chance. It running dry on ammo. No, that is not good. No, it is not. So I have to this guy needs to go. Oh, come on! Guns dry. Guys, and now also gone. I cannot believe this. I cannot tell you how much I hate cyberdisks right now. I want to uh, storm in and rescue him, but that's the wrong idea, I guess. How do I get to my evacuation zone? I have to move through here or something. Yeah, very funny map designers, very funny. Not that I want to leave, but just notice. I want to, I want to get some high ground, but no. There's no way up there. I could move here, but still I can't get flanked here. The cyberdisks have very long range.
I think they want to shoot at the, the infantry here. So I might be safe here with Holly. Oh, that cyber is, it needs to go. I'm not even sure if I see the cyber disc from here. That guy in the back from here. I'm not even sure I'm going to see them. So, but I, I'd like to be in a better position with the Holly. That would be awesome. But I, we don't get nice, good high cover here. This one, maybe. I mean, my chips are coming in next turn, so let's not risk anything. Man up and get back out there. Yeah, man up. And go on over. We do the same with Louise. We don't Overwatch, overwatch with her. Right. And let's hope that the infantry guy survives. He's still in the smoke. Ah, they prefer to shoot uh, the guys that are uh, in no... Um, no cover. Oh yeah, the overwatch. Yes. Oh, this is so great. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this turn was good. I mean, I got shot in, shot in the ship, so to speak. But that's fine. B2, closing the gap. I think I want to suppress the cyber disc rather than doing anything else. Can we get closer with C4? Oh yeah. We get good chances actually, 50-50. How about B4, laser rohits. Also sees the target. Four. Fifty-four Fifty-four percent. I will also come in here with um, C2, although they are far, far away. Uh, I can reload. So what do we do? We need to reload on the human. Uh, how do we do that? I think this is a good option. On it. All right. Okay, reload. Back online. Yeah, out of sight here now. You have no line of sight here. Miss Louise. So we have three 50-50 chances. What do you think about that? I think we should suppress this laser uh, or heat. Oh no, laser heat does not give polo targeting. If you're suppressed with someone that can, uh, uh, you know, give polo targeting, no. All right, so 52 and 52, right? Yeah. So okay, it doesn't matter who suppresses. So you suppress, give polo targeting, and the other two shoot at you. Right. Oh no, we missed again. And you also shoot for a 64% chance. Laser Rohits. So is this a joke? I can't get up here from here. No, I cannot. Okay. It's not a joke. Get here with my with my medic. Okay, and with Louise, I need to distribute some smoke. Yeah, do it. Smoke and go on Overwatch afterwards. If they decide to come in, 
and they will run into my overwatch. Not that that will destroy them, but... Okay, what are they going to do? They will have a shoot, so I think, uh, laser wings. Oh, they just go in overwatch, nice. But I think that means, um, overwatch... or suppression by this guy. Or, trigger the overwatch with this guy. So who has... Uh, you have... But you're not inside the smoke. Alright, we will trigger the overwatch with B2. B2 will be... Right now? Nobody's going to... Uh, sit out next next mission when it comes to my shifts so I will get suppression up by this guy and just take my chances with my with the 60% again I'm bound to hit at some point there you go nice and laser heats also gets a 60% chance a 2 and 3 chance actually yeah I hit for 7 so the guy's down to 1 health is this going to trigger the overwatch no we are perfectly at the edge of his perception. Alright, let's see if uh, somebody else can actually apply that one damage. Like Medic? No! Too far away. It's too risky to move my humans if that Overwatch uh, triggers. So let's do it like this. And that shall be it. Oof. Cyberdisc gone, so is my scout. I didn't even get a chance to revive him. That's so bullshit. So bullshit. My medic w uh, is able to. Is able to do that. Paramedic field certain stay frosty field. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, forget what I just said. Okay, medic moves over there. Scanning. Goes on Overwatch. Louise moves over aye, here. Aye, loads. Rock and roll. And Artyom moves On back into my way. cover here. Got it and after that avian turn, I will make another cut. And then we will storm the UFO. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye!